Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. All right, I'm here to interview the one, the only, just another average stacker, but let me fix this cam. Oh, face or, oh. oh. what? Well, I guess we might as well just go with We're it. We're there. All right, my friends. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I've met this stacker before in real life, but I wanted to take a minute to introduce him to you. Uh, he's got a lot of really cool content, and he's got about 900 subs right now, and I just want to say that because when he gets to 30,000, I want to take credit. So, <laughs> um, I just thought we'd do a quick interview on Silver, your perspective on things, because, you know, uh, my viewers get to hear my take, but I think um, hearing other information from other people would be valuable, right? So, sure. Um, so first off, your YouTube is just another average stacker. Yep. And why'd you pick that name? Um, quite honestly, it started from just another overtaxed taxpayer. Oh, I know his channel. Um, that was one of the first YouTube channels that I kind of found, stumbled upon. Um, okay. so it kind of came from that, but I wanted it to be specific to stacking. Gotcha. And why did you, like, when did you get into stacking? Was it, and how? Was it like YouTube videos or? Actually, uh, it started from about two, two and a half years ago. Silver had dropped down into the mid 14s. And there was a thread in a firearms forum that I belonged to in our off topic area um, that was talking about silver. And I had, I knew a little bit about silver, but started reading that thread and saw how silver had dropped to a six or seven year low. And I kind of piqued my interest a little bit and the rest is history from there. I made my first purchase through JM Bullion, did their 10 ounce starter pack and kind of just grew from there. And how'd you find them? YouTube or? Uh, that was basically just kind of Googling. So when did the whole YouTube chapter come in? So the YouTube started uh, three or four months after I started stacking. And me, I am, once I get involved in something, I kind of dive in head first. And I was doing a lot of research on purchases, investing, uh, because initially I thought it would be a good investment uh, for my money. And through trying to do some research, I came across YouTube and a couple of, a few channels out there. Um, and from that- What were those first few channels you saw? Um, like I said, just another overtax taxpayer was one of the first ones. Um, Yankee Stacking was probably the first real stacking channel that I came upon. And Yankee, thank you so much. Uh, we've become fairly close friends through all of this. Um, but he, he was probably my first real educational channel. Um, and what kind of inspired me to journal, for lack of a better word, of what I was going through. Okay. Sorry, I interrupted your, your, your story there. So you ended up on YouTube and seeing these different YouTube channels that kind of influenced you and kind of taught you the ropes. And then what happened from there? You just continued to buy? Or? From there, I just continued to buy. And if you go back to my earlier videos, I would say probably 95% of them are unboxing videos. Um, I was stacking hard. And to the point where people were saying that my name, just another average stacker, really didn't apply because I was buying one to two tubes of Eagles a month. Um, I was pretty much focused just on silver, um, but I was adding 20 to 40 ounces a month to my stack uh, until I hit a point where something kind of registered in my life, and that was probably, oh, six, eight months ago, where I was carrying some debt. And I realized that my money was better used towards paying off that debt than to continue to accumulate precious metals. And at that point, I made the very difficult decision. I liquidated my stack. 
oh, and paid wow. off my debt. Okay. Um, at which point my channel changed because I was no longer accumulating. My channel kind of changed its focus to coin ball hunting. So you went from paying for silver to getting it for nearly... To getting it for free. Well, nearly almost. free. Almost, almost free. So you still are accumulating, but now Absolutely. it's only the silver that you're getting for free. Correct. Okay. Um, in addition to accumulating for 50 cents a piece. And I know that's not all the way true, because I just saw four of those Queen Anne's Revenge sitting on your counter. So, I mean... If you need me to do an intervention and take those away, <laughs> I, I totally will. Now, I have made exceptions um, for flipping situations because I still do like accumulation. And I am using different situations. Um, for those of you that haven't seen my mega hunt from January 15th of this year, 2020. Now, be careful how you use the word mega. That doesn't always I'm work sorry. out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. An epic... Find, okay, okay, okay. Um, gave away 80 silver coins that night. Yeah, I was in that stream. That was nuts. I couldn't believe it. You gave away 80 coins. And, like, that's that's epic. And I remember walking out to the mailbox with, and I did a video. It's $20 face of Constitutional. Yeah, $20 face of 40% silver that I gave away that night. But at the same time, I took the rest of that and turned it into a half ounce of gold. Now, how on earth in this whole story and situation did you end up finding my channel and meeting me in Washington, D.C.? How did that whole occur? So, was like Yankee stacking the gateway drug? Yeah, Is Yankee that was <laughs> definitely the gateway to finding your channel. Um, at that point in time, I was really kind of spreading out in the community. Uh, finding lots of different channels, um, International Stacker, obviously, um, Silver Dragons. Uh, was he Baggins at that point or he, Dragons? He actually was, he was Baggins at that point and it was when he was dirt um, in his probation period from being able to live stream. So you guys, Silver Dragons used to be Silver Baggins and the company that owns Baggins from Lord of the Rings like cease and desist them. So he had to drop it to right. Dragons. Um, and I remember my very first giveaway that I won was on a live stream, a coast to coast live stream with a special guest because dragons couldn't do uh -huh. it. And I won a one ounce round. And I did one of those, by the way, with Yankee. I, did was, you? I was on one of those, yeah. And I remember it was Guess Estate. And I was at a Comic Con event. Okay. Waiting for my kids to finish up and just listening on my phone. And the state was Connecticut. Or, I'm sorry, North Dakota. It was okay. North Dakota. I guessed it. I won it. I won my first silver round giveaway ever. And then heard about somebody within the community that was down on their luck. And I donated that away right away. Oh, that's nice. Um, because to me, that one ounce rounds is not life changing for me but it could make a difference to somebody else so um yankee stacking silver dragons international stacker um over tax taxpayer the, those were my primary channels that i watched and it's grown obviously from there but uh but yeah that's, that's now how. you came to the first ever <clears throat> uh meet and greet international yes. stacker meet and greet in dc like, were you hesitant to come? Do you think it was a scam? Were you going to get robbed? Um, for me, I had no questions. I had no concerns whatsoever. Uh, when I saw what you do within the community, um, for one, I wasn't bringing anything to be worried about robbing about. Um, and it was an opportunity. That's not true about Yankee stacking. Did you see what he brought to the White yes. House last time I met him? Yes, okay, I did. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah. Um, but for me, it was, quite honestly, at that point in time, I did it for selfish reasons. Because I thought I could expose my channel on yours. Oh. And, and, also, and that's the honest truth. And I was giving away some silver, too. I did, and I did end up with some silver. Woo! And, and we exchanged some, 
Yeah, that's right. You you brought me some uh, fifty cent pieces, yep. I believe. Um, so it was nice to meet some people face to face within the community, but ultimately, honestly, I had ulterior motives. But hey. I'm thrilled that I did it because, and it's hilarious because scrapping hoarding, tickering fun. I met him that day. Yes, yeah, true. Along with you and gold pocket or blue collar gold blue pocket. collar yeah so wait blue collar gold pockets blue I think collar I deep pockets I, I think he he changed it okay yeah so hilariously enough I'm I'm meeting up with you today yesterday I met up with Scrabbing that's funny so S H T F and I met with you the first time. And we're meeting once again, one day apart. Yeah, it's funny. I met him again after that um, when I was on the East Coast. So right. I've seen him again, too. So that's super cool. I'm here with Jazz, just another average stacker, and we're getting the burgers ready. We are going to have a feast. So in Maryland, they actually grill the beer. <laughs> are you really trying to get me to commit a felony? That's uh, a felony. We're, we're, we're in the United States. It's okay. Okay. In that case... Get some more in Let's there. Get some more bacon. <laughs> oh my gosh! You guys, it's gone wrong. <laughs> All right, guys, this is my station. I'm fanning it. <laughs> All right, guys. So the fire department just left, and we're ready, ready to eat these babies. Oh, should we the do? Test. Should we do like a burger toast? Burger do toast. Do you even do that? Okay. Cheers. Let's see. Mm. All right, man. Well, thanks for having me over. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Burgers. And this one goes home with you. I was about to say the burgers were great, but the <laughs> silver is even better. Wow. 1949. Which is a semi-key date of the Franklins. One of the very, very hard ones to find, which I found in a hunt. Wow. Thank you so much, man. Was it an ender? Uh, no, I've never, I don't think I've ever had a Franklin Ender. I don't think I've ever had like a non-Kennedy Ender. You know why they stopped making the Franklin and switch, switch to Kennedy, yeah. right? Because of the assassination. Of the assassination. Yep. Are we even allowed to say that word on YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> <Should> I? <laughs> <laughs> All you right, man. edit that out. <laughs> well, thanks for having me and I'll say catch you on the next one. <laughs>